Blake here and welcome back to my channel. I live on the west coast of Australia with my hubby Greg and we homeschool our four kiddos. I have Will who's in grade 8, M is in grade 4, Crew is in grade 2 and little Jackson is in pre-primary. And we have been homeschooling for four years here in the Lake House Homeschool. In today's video, I'm going to give you a look at what we're using to teach grade eight here in the Lake House Homeschool for 2022. I have Will, who is my oldest son. He's 13. He will be turning 14 this year and he is in grade eight. So these are all of the things that we're uh, using to teach grade eight, which here in West Australia is high school. Uh, grade seven is the first year of high school. So we did that last year. So we're into our second year of teaching our uh, high school here in the Lake House Homeschool. Still getting used to having a high, uh, high schooler in the family. Uh, but enough of my talking, let's get in and have a look at the grade eight curriculum that we are using. So the main curriculum that we use is from Gather Round Homeschool and it is unit studies. And this term we are doing the Oceans Unit Study. And so this is um, William's uh, notebook that goes along with that. If you'd like to know more about um, unit studies and gather and homeschool, I've lots of videos on my YouTube channel looking at the unit studies that we have done. Um, and so I will put links in the description box down below so you can go and check out those videos to get an understanding of what unit studies are. But basically it's like our spine curriculum. And in the unit studies all of the learning areas are covered and then you just add in math and so it's like an all-in-one uh, curriculum and each term we do a different unit study so for the first term we're doing an oceans unit study and I haven't picked what we're doing for the rest of the year but each term we will do a new unit study um, and so I just purchase like the family digital bundle um, and then I print off um, the teacher's guide and then a notebook for each kiddo and so William um, he is using the middle school notebook but I think the next time I actually move him up into the high school notebook um, um, but this is kind of like the scope and sequence here and here for all of the things that are covered um, in the unit study. So here's all the language arts that is going to be covered in this unit study. And then this is the social studies area. So for, um, for history um, and geography, this is all the art because because art is covered in here as well. So this is all the art um, that is happening in here. This is... Um, the Bible uh, studies, uh, so the Bible verses and stories that will be looked at, and then this is all the, this is all the science. So obviously this is science heavy. Uh, this unit study being oceans. Um, last year we did a couple of geography units, so they were heavy in the geography area. So with unit studies, you you know cover everything at, um, as you move through the unit studies. But we absolutely love using the gather around unit studies we used them all last year um, and we will um, this year so he just has this notebook um, that he uh, works through um, on um, so I do you know read aloud and we watch videos and like little documentaries and then he'll come away um, and complete the uh, books the sorry the pages in his uh, notebook so that's our main um, curriculum and then I do add in um, other things um, so I always um, purchase books for my children to read they love to read and we'll check out books from the library all year long but I do purchase um, some books that I would like them to read through the year um, and this year I purchased the Map Maker Chronicles series of books for William to read and he's really enjoying them. There are four books in the series I think this is number one he's currently reading number two already and I have book three and four waiting there for him. I picked these books up from Kurong um, and he's really really enjoying those so check them out. Um, uh, for yourself on the Kurong uh, website to you know read uh, what they're about but he is really enjoying that series so he will read um, that and then I've also added in some extra an extra writing curriculum now with the unit studies from gather round I absolutely love them and I just encourage people if um, if there's any ever any area that you find that your child may be weak in, then you can just add into that curriculum to 
to boost that thing. And so William definitely needed extra writing practice. And this is called Jump In Writing, um, a middle school composition. And I have done a review and a flip through of this. Uh, so again, I will fly a card up the top and leave a link in the description box down below so that you can have a closer look at this. Uh, but this is just an extra writing program with extra writing activities. Um, and he will do these um, as well as his uh, unit study work. So he uh, we work through this together. So that's been a really great um, writing program. With Gather Round Homeschool, you do have to add in your own math program. And the math program that we're using to teach grade eight, um, grade eight is mathsonline.com.au. And we've been using this ever since we started homeschooling and we absolutely love it. It has all of the age, um, all of the year levels. It's aligned with the Australian curriculum. I'm using the West Australian curriculum one for William. Um, and it comes with, it has short video tutorials for them to watch and learn the math skill. And then it goes into, um, they have questions for them to answer. And there's also the ability to print out worksheets um, as well, but it's all done online and records your results. And we really love maths online. I have also added in some extra Bible work to do this year um, and I have chosen this book which is called Here Comes Heaven, A Kid's Guide to God's Supernatural Power um, by Bill Johnson and Mike Seth. And so I'm really keen to get into working um, through this book. I'll actually work through this book with him. I won't get him to do it on his own. We'll actually work through it together. He probably falls at the end age that this book is designed for. Um, so, but I think it will be fine. Again, I just purchased a, uh, like the PDF copy of the book. You can buy hard copies of the book, um, but because eventually my other children will do this as well. I like to do the PDF versions because then I can print out multiple copies instead of having to buy multiple books if that makes sense. Um, so I will leave a link um, to this uh, in the description box so you can go and read what it's about. Um, but basically it'll have um, like uh, sections to read um, and then um, there'll be a section where you can answer questions and kind of do like, um, like journaling in there as well. And so... I haven't done a flip through of this, um, but I'll have to. Um, yeah, so then there's sections there that you can um, journal um, and uh, write out what um, you know you talked about and things like that. So that looks really good. I'm excited to, um, to get into that with William. Now for health and physical um, education in our house, um, I've added these books um, in for um, like health studies and I have shown these on my channel before and I'll pop a card up the top for you and a link in the description box so that if you wanted to have a closer look at these books that you can because I have done a video on them. In our house we use the God's Design for Sex series of books and they're excellent as you can see they've won a Christian Book Award and there's a book for every stage so William's on book four this is for ages 11 through to 14 but I have a book for my youngest kids right through you know to teenagers and these are really really uh, great books I we do these one-on-one -on -one with our children so we don't sit and read it as a family we'll actually read it one-on-one -on -one with them so that they can feel safe and comfortable and they can chat with you and ask any questions that they may have so it's really important uh, so he is on book four and then we also use these books as well called uh, good pictures bad pictures porn proofing today's young kids. Obviously we live in an online world where they are watching things online seeing things as they're walking through the shops and you can't always be there to kind of filter what they see or what they hear but this book teaches them how to um live in a world where we may see things that, that don't sit right with us and what to do if they come across something that they shouldn't be looking at. And so, um, yeah, these are really, really great books. Again, um, I go check out my other video um, and I'll leave a link to the book so that you can kind of read the synopsis for yourself. Um, but that's really, really great. So that's what um, we are doing for 
uh, like health and for physical education he doesn't do any sport he's not really a sporty kid so we just kind of add in all of the life stuff that we do that kind of fit into that category so he is continuing with swimming lessons um, we do ride our bikes scooter he uses our canoe we go swimming all the time at the beach we go out in our boat go fishing we do lots of nature walks and bush walking um, in the winter time uh, we go to playgrounds every week um, where he goes to youth group um, and on homeschool camps and things like that so all of that stuff you can add into your program to fall into that um, physical education category now for our, as I said we use gather around homeschool for our main spine for our curriculum and that's a Canadian and American curriculum so I always make sure I add in some things uh, about Australian history uh, so that we're aligning with the um, you know with Australian curriculum so this year for Australian history I have found this book um, and we're going to read it together so this is called the story of Australia for the young and the curious by Don Watson and this looks like a really beautiful book um, so he will be more than happy he loves history um, and he enjoys reading. And so he will actually enjoy reading this even on his own. Um, and so, yeah, he will just this year slowly uh, work. It might take him a couple of years. It's quite a thick book. Uh, but he, yeah, will slowly work his way uh, reading through this um, history book. Um, and then I also picked up this book as well. I haven't used... Um, any of these books from this uh, series before. It's called the Australian Home Australian Homeschooling Series and I only kind of just discovered it. I haven't really seen much about it so I thought I would give it a go. So this is um, an Australian government book for grade seven and up um, and so it's just like a, um, a workbook basically. So you can see here it's going to look at the origin and development of parliament, types of parliament, government of Australia, um, uh, federal, the workings of the federal, state and local governments and responsibilities of electorates. Um, and so, yeah, it's just like a simple, uh, it's got answers at the back, which is really good. But it's basically just a simple kind of uh, workbook, um, basically that you will be reading the information and then um, answering the questions. Uh, but I thought that might be a good idea um, to give this a go. Um, and I will leave a link in the description box down below to where I found this book. And they do have some other um, other books as well on there that you might be interested in. Um, so make sure you check out that link if you wanted to know a little bit more. Uh, but that's what we are using for Australian government. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope that you found that content helpful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment in the comments box down below and I will get back to you with an answer. Also, anywhere that I can link um, any of the curriculum and things that I've shown you, I will do that and I will pop those links in the comments box down below. And I'll also include um, a link to my Instagram um, account if you'd like to follow me over there. And I'll also pop some links to other videos as well that you might find are uh, helpful um, in your homeschooling journey. I've got a great video if you're a first time homeschooler about, um, you know, tips to survive your first year in homeschooling. Um, I've got planning videos. I've got reporting videos. I've got a homeschool room tour, um, all of the fun stuff. So make sure you check out those links in the, in the description box down below. Again, thanks for watching my video today and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.